Our Pulse team coverage continues now in Osceola County, where nearly a third of the terror attack victims had ties. Channel 9's Michael Lepardi found out how the city of Kissimmee is paying tribute to those lost while making some history of its own. This massive flag back here travels to different pride events. It'll serve as the backdrop for tomorrow's ceremony, which will begin with a memorial to the Pulse victims. Today was about last minute preparations. An artist set up this mural inside the Kissimmee Civic Center where the first Pride Fest was moved because of weather concerns. It's going to be full of activities, concerts, music. First, organizers will offer prayers, read the names of Pulse victims, and hear from one of their mothers. With um, Osceola and Kissimmee, uh, the ties are very deep. Organizer Liz Harris says the attack unfolded in Orlando, but hit home in Kissimmee. Even some of our employees knew new victims, new family members, and it was a significant impact. The city recognized the impact and decided to create the event as a way to show it's a welcoming place. Being um, from Kissimmee since second grade. Cheryl Grieb is the first openly gay commissioner in Kissimmee and Osceola County. She says a lot has changed since she was young. Again, very excited, very happy. I think it's a long time coming, but uh, I'm glad we're here. Grieb says about a third of the victims had ties to Osceola County. We were tremendously affected and we still have a support group that meets on Thursdays. After the memorial, tomorrow's event is expected to be a celebration inspired by the victims, including those who once lived here. Organizers have enough room here to fit several thousand people and the city hopes to make this an annual event. Reporting in Kissimmee, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, again, the event has been moved to the Kissimmee Civic Center. Pride Fest runs from noon until 5 o'clock. It's free and it's open to the public.